Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea. I honestly don't know what's going on with my face, but ignore it. I wanted to talk to you about the Mandela Effect, which is so big on social media and YouTube at the moment, and has been for a little while. My sister told me about it, and then I watched like, what is that guy? One of those big ones, I don't know. I watched his video about it, and more videos about it, and people talk about it all the time, and it is the Mandela Effect. What that is, if you don't already know, is when you remember something that is wrong, when you remember something being a certain way, and it's different, and it's not just you, it's like lots and lots of people around the world remember something a specific way, but it's actually not that way. It is named after Nelson Mandela, who people believe died in prison, I think, and he didn't actually die in prison, I think he died more recently. I don't actually know anything about him, okay. I want to talk about my opinions on this whole conspiracy theory. So I want to start off by saying I love conspiracy theories. I love aliens, I love ghosts, I love weird, unexplainable things. But just like with ghosts, I am highly skeptical because you have to be or else you'll just end up believing everything that you hear. I definitely believe in parallel universes or at least some kind of other universes, other dimensions, other worlds because how can you not? How can you just believe in the one that we're in right now? The one we're in right now is so crazy and unbelievable, mm -hmm. you know, that we like made this earth and now look where we are. That how can you believe that there is other life somewhere in another space, another time that we don't even understand, we can't communicate with because we're just here in ours. So I definitely believe in other universes. But do I think Mandela Effect has to do with being from a parallel universe or like our universe rushing through a parallel universe. I don't, I don't know. It's a very crazy concept, but I love the concept and I do think maybe it could be possible, but I also think that there could be a very easy explanation for a lot of these things. One of the biggest Mandela Effect things that a lot of us people that are talking about it around the same age is the Berenstein Bears remembering it as Berenstein instead of how it actually is Berenstein. When my sister first told me about that, I was just like, what are you talking about? I have the books in my room right now. I can go get them and show you that it's E-I-N. Obviously, I was wrong, as everyone else was, and that's where I became interested in this whole Mandela effect. Because yeah, I always thought it was spelled with an E. I asked my mom, she knew it was spelled with an A. As a child, I read the Berenstein Bears with my mother. I remember it as Berenstein because that's how you pronounced it. And as a kid, I didn't really know how to spell. So now, to be remembering it a different way, I think we easily just could have thought it was that way, and it's not. Something like Chick-fil-A, where you instantly think of the word chick having the K on the end. It could just be something that we don't realize, because it's not like every single thing that we see, every single thing that we read, we're gonna remember exactly the right way. I, I feel like with the spelling ones, it's so easy to, you know how it's spelled right, how you see it most often. And so you kind of, if you're not focusing entirely on how it's spelled, you're just remembering how it should be. And I think it's very likely that we're just not paying entire attention to the things that we're suddenly realizing are spelled differently than we thought they were. Because to me, even when I think about it, I don't have any clear memory of thinking of reading Berenstein Bears and just like being so conscious of it being spelled that way. Other things like the mirror mirror on the wall one, I don't quite get why did all of a sudden we all remember it that way? Why was it marketed that way? Why have we heard that line over and over? Was it just something that the company decided, you know, even though it was this way in the movie, that it's gonna sound better that way and that's how they marketed it? That's how they made that line become more popular? Or is it actually the whole universe colliding with another universe? Which changed it? I don't, I don't know, obviously. And no one really knows, that's why they're conspiracy theories but I think a lot of them can be explained. I think there are some that just make no sense, and for me, the mirror mirror on the wall one definitely is the most solid of the Mandela Effect things that I can relate to anyway. I saw one on Twitter today of whiteout. When you think of the word whiteout, you know it's spelled with an H, and yet the company doesn't have the H in there, but that is also a brand, and people remember it being that way, 
because when we think about whiteout, we always just think of it with the H in it. I think a lot of them are just remembering it wrong. It hasn't like been changed. I think when we hear something, it sticks in our mind. If it's something that we're not paying entire attention to, it sticks in our mind as how we first remember it. Something like an event happens, and this happens like in everyday life. If we hear a news article title of something, and it might have a question mark at the end, it might not actually be true, it could be like, a speculative thing. We'll remember that if it's something big, we'll remember it the way that we first heard about it, even if that's not necessarily true. I don't have any experience with um, an event happening that was different than I remember it, but I know that there are some and I obviously I can't just discredit everyone because maybe you were so avid on a certain thing. Maybe you followed it entirely and you can have clear evidence of it. But I think a lot of times it's just what is in our mind, the first thing that we hear that gets stuck in our mind makes an impression on us and if we're not paying entire attention it can easily just get stuck there and we move on and that's how we end up remembering it. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me but it's hard to explain, kind of. There's another one that has to do with spelling. One's like Sex in the City and Interview with a Vampire. Those two things I specifically remember when I was younger, that I always thought it was sex in the city, but it's sex and the city. And I remember, I think about it and I'd have to say, it's the one I don't think it is. So I like knew that my memory of it was wrong, but I also knew what the right one was. So it's not like all of a sudden now I'm like, oh my God, it's actually that. It's something like that where I was conscious of it. I paid attention to, I'm getting it wrong. This is actually what it is. That's how I know now what it actually is. It doesn't sound as good, so in your mind you want to change it and I think it's so easy for us to just get things wrong because memory is such a fickle ever-changing thing to just get something wrong and you don't correct it in your mind and it just sticks with you for years and years and that's just how you remember it and I think the event ones are a little bit more a little harder to discredit I guess but I can see how it could happen with like just seeing something in the news and that's how you just remember it but ones with spelling I definitely believe we just think of it a certain way we just assume that it's spelled the certain way because that's what makes sense so that's how we remember it even though it's actually not that way I think there could be in some cases that companies actually did change things. Obviously, I don't want to discredit anyone's opinions or anyone's memories, but they're just memories. If we don't have solid evidence of this, it's just a theory. And it's a fun theory. It's a fun thing to say, oh my gosh, I actually remember it this way. But I think we're just giving too much credit to our memories, like assuming that they're just right. As much as I would just like to believe this entirely, I can't because I feel like it's e too easy to debunk. So yeah, that is all I wanted to talk about today. That's my opinions on the Mandela Effect. Obviously, I think there's a lot that can be explained, but there's a lot we can't explain either. I'm not gonna claim that I know how to explain everything, or even if I'm right. That's just what I personally think. Let me know what you think about the Mandela Effect and like if there are any that you have more solid evidence on. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next. Bye.